Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe from Steel to Wood. I'm back to making stuff with steel. <laughs> yes, those are large wheels. They are 11R22.5, which goes on the uh, large trucks. I've got them for uh, a cheap price. It was, uh, I think, $20 each. Four of them are still holding air. Two are not holding hair, so I'm going to attempt to put something flammable in it and tie into it. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm not messing with that. So those two, I'm not going to do anything with that. You see how dangerous it is? Uh, it's roughly 120, 25 pounds each. They are quite heavy. For now, I'm going to put aside those two. Uh, for the remaining four, what I'm uh, targeting to do is a roller for snow. I do have a small roller for the lawn and, and I use it with the uh, small bolens. It's maybe four or five hundred pounds. But it's so small that if I go in the snow with that, it's not going to roll. It's just going to mess around with snow. I was tempted to use six of them. Obviously, eleven means the uh, width, and it's pretty much the width you can get in between each. It's not the width of that uh, section. It's really from side to side. I was tempted to do a 66 inches order, which would have uh, weighed uh, 700 pounds. That's heavy first, to begin with, and secondly, to roll the snow, there's one reason I want to roll the snow, is that because in the very middle of the trail, there's no way I can roll the snow unless that I do multiple paths and I offset each and every time, but even yet, it needs to be very wide tracks, I don't have all those trails to be wide enough to do so. So what I do is I do snow groom, but yet the metal is not uh, very packed and then, uh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to do the roller using only four. It's going to be a 500 pounds roller. It's going to roll the very middle of the trail and the remaining is where my wheels are running. I don't know exactly how I'm going to manage that, but I want them to be removable if one is uh, getting deflated and yet to be able ideally to be pulled with the side by side or uh, by a tractor if needed stick around well this is the progress so far i had this piece already made from a scrap yard let's say so i've got four wheels tied together so they don't move and or fall on me i have and sorry about the noise, I need heat. Have this tube cut to length. And this is where the contraption comes in play. So I had those uh, old hubs. Actually, I don't know where, from which car they come from. I've uh, made some collars here so I can clamp them because I'm not in a great position to use the bolts here might be i use them i don't know yet and then i've had to open the hubs because the bolt pattern was not exactly the same so i use discs from my, my car old disc obviously front and discs bolted in um, and the next part which is funny is that this fits exactly on the end of that pipe so those are going to be clamping together the wheels and I'm going to weld this half inch nut here into that tube this tube is going to be inside and it's going to bolt from the middle of it, holding the wall together. So voila! Just to get to that 
specific combination was uh, quite a challenge to get the right parts into my junk pile and going to be put in good use those hubs, discs and all that stuff <laughs> that's been in my shop for so long. I'm going to weld that and uh, show you that. Stick around. This is it. It's welded this side, this one. This is the tubing I welded inside. So it's going to allow me to pull this piece against the shaft. Um, let's try the first one. Okay, I'll later use uh, nylon nuts. For now I'm going to use the regular nuts because I have to do something with that shaft to match the uh, wheels. You can see currently at the inside I've welded a small uh, washer. It's a special washer, it's very thick and it's meant for that I guess. <laughs> so again, this one is going to retain, it's all torqued. support the um, inner hub of the wheel. It's been a while I didn't work on a project. I don't know where we uh, left at. So quick update. I welded the uh, half moon support. Oh, that's great when it stops. Um, and I also welded the hubs because it's um, press fit and I don't want this to come off. So um, is this going to be serviceable? Uh, no. So anyways, I don't know where this hub is coming from, what brand of car, trucks, car most likely. So uh, it's a run to fail situation. I made the full weld here and there on the uh, tubings. Um, so basically I'm left to reassemble that with the wheels and also maybe also uh, I'll make a tongue to pull this uh, nice uh, little contraption.
Okay, it took quite a bit of time to install that. I have the upper cutter, which is welded, and the other one is clamped. So, seems very solid. And by the way, I maintained that gap here um, to widen just a bit more. Now I need to put a tongue on that. Well, this is it. The project is mostly completed. I thought it's completed. Um, I've started this like two weeks ago, so I don't know where you left or where I left you. So I've got the tongue installed. And so basically I have the tongue installed. Uh, it's bolted and there's a pin here because uh, as you can see this is actually offset and the idea for that is to make sure that wherever I run the machine I can also offset this holder quite a bit so I'm going to move that towards the center you will take and then by the way I do have a leg here because you know Without a leg, it's quite uh, <laughs> heavy to maintain and especially to move that. I'm going to put that a temporary there and you'll see. So this is the leg that can pull down back here. And voila! This is the finished result. <laughs> As a reminder, this is actually uh, 500 pounds of wheels, uh, wheels, tires, and then maybe the remaining is 200 pounds, if not more. And uh, this is rubber. Doesn't want to slip much, eh? Well, this is it for now. That's a good trial. I would qualify that as a success. I'm going to try with the uh, offset. I have a windrow that I'd like to uh, pack down. Um, so far so good. Maybe I'll put a video when I trial that on a daylight while using the stand and you'll get a better view of what it does. It does very well. That's it. Hope you enjoy. See you on the next one. Thanks.